And I'm a psychiatrist, so this one's gonna be a bit more straightforward for me. I have teenagers that are and young adults in my office and they wonder about these things and there's so much stuff on the internet. There's internet pornography and there's objectification of men and women in media and celebrity and sports and things like that. And, and really, um, I would really bring this back to masturbation fantasies. And I know, again, as I say that, the viewers might start to cringe and say, oh my God, he said masturbation or fantasy or even both in the same word. But the reality is when you're alone with yourself and your body, that's a time for you to start becoming honest with who you are, what arouses you, what attracts you. And so if you need information and data about that, what you have to pay attention to is what are you sexually aroused by? Whether that's men or whether that's women or whether that's both or whether that's neither, you have the ability to figure this out when you are exploring your masturbation fantasy world. And I think that's a great start.